Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now, I'm still in London here today and behind me is a place called Pizza Union. Now this is a place I've heard a little bit about. Apparently they knock out some cracking pizzas and for as little as six pound a go, that is incredible value for London. We're a stone's throw away from Liverpool Street Station here, kind of, I think they still just about call it Spitalfields, but it's, it's close to Liverpool Street Station. Uh, we're going to go in and try one of their pizzas. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so I've ordered my pizza. The music is pretty loud in here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this footage or not, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I've ordered the margarita pizza, which is £5.95, and a Diet Coke, which is £1.90. So that's pretty good value all round, isn't it? Looking forward to this. So there's a bunch of little extras you can have with your order if you want. They've got some dips available, 125, some garlic ones, a chili one, and some like grissini with a little garlic aioli and whatever some mixed olives, that kind of thing. So yeah, little things you can add on and quite a good range of pizzas all together as well. Lots of different uh, varieties. Obviously I've just gone for the plain margarita one, uh, but there are uh, Fiorentina ones, pepperoni obviously, things with uh, mixed meats on there or chicken, peppers, mushrooms, all kinds of things, the sort of things you'd expect to find really in a pizza place. But the most expensive one on here is the, uh, is the meat one with chicken, ham and pepperoni and various things. And even that's only £8.95. So it's pretty good value, especially for this part of town. So the pizza has arrived. Take a closer look at this. Got a little bit of basil there in the middle and then just obviously the, uh, the cheese and tomato topping. Quite a nice char on there on the crust as well. Yeah. Very, very thin, crispy base. I'm looking forward to trying this. Like I say, for less than six quid, I think that's pretty good, don't you? Right, so they do have a bunch of things that you can add on. You've got some chili flakes here and some dried herbs to add on. And there's olive oil in a bottle just behind here. What I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna try it as is. I'm gonna grab a little slice. It's piping hot, it's obviously just come out of the oven. So here we go, you can see how nice and thin that crust is. And there's the, uh, the toppings on there and whatever, such as they are, just the sauce and the mozzarella. Now I tend to break my pizza like that and eat it this way. Mmm. Oh, that's got a great flavour. I'm sure I just had a little bit of the basil there, which is a really, really nice herby flavour. The crust. It's got a lovely crispy kind of bite to it. They're cooking them in a big pizza oven there with a flame inside. Which is giving it a really nice crisp. It cooks very quickly that way. The tomato sauce is very, very nice. It's got that kind of metallic tomato-y taste that you associate with pizza. But also a nice kind of sweetness to it. Mm. Let's grab another piece and then we'll start thinking about putting some chili flakes on or something. Here we go again. It just looks appealing, doesn't it? Now well, let's try. You can just about pick up the cheese in with the tomato there. Obviously being mozzarella, it's a very, very mild flavour. But the whole thing together, just a very, very simple pizza, is really delicious to eat. It really is. Mm. And I don't think it really needs any toppings. One of the things I always think about pizza places, if you come to them, is that a mark of how good they are is how good their margarita is. Because there's nowhere to hide. You can't mask any deficiencies in your pizza with tasty toppings or whatever. This is good pizza. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of extra flavour to this pizza now. As I said, we have some chilli flakes here, which I'm going to use. And there are herbs as well. So let me get them on the pizza right now. So the music really is loud in here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get this past YouTube, but we can try. Anyway, I've got the, uh, the pizza here with the chili and the herbs on now. Let's see how much difference that makes to the flavor. Mm. Those herbs are nice. Very intense because they're dried herbs. The chili isn't that punchy, just a little underlying heat. I don't necessarily think the pizza needs either. It's good on its own. But it just adds a little different flavour as you're making your way through the pizza. Mm. Yeah, both of them are good. Without it, still good. So as I've probably pointed out, the music in there was really, really loud. So I don't know how much of that footage I'm actually going to be able to use. I'll run you through <laughs> how the meal was anyway. So when you go in, you go up to the counter and you order whatever you want, your pizza. They give you a little buzzer thing. Um, when it buzzes, you go at the collection point, pick it up. All very, very simple. And it was really quick. No more than three or four minutes between me placing the order and my buzzer going off. Uh, take it back to where you're sitting. The seating areas are quite nice. Um, obviously it's quite funky, loud music and what have you, but you, uh, then you can add on your toppings if you want to. You have uh, <clears throat> chili flakes, there's herbs, there's a bit of olive oil, and just tuck in. The pizza itself, absolutely delicious. Uh, really, really nice crust to it. Um, the crust is one of the bits people leave, don't they, the outside bit? You wouldn't want to do that here, it's really tasty. Um, I kind of regret not getting one of the dips that I could have got there to, uh, to dip in, but there we are, maybe next time. And the topping, yeah, the tomato sauce is really tasty. Uh, the mozzarella, just mozzarella, isn't it? Um, but I think it didn't really need any other toppings. I will come back one day and try it with some of the toppings on just to see how they are. But, you know, I think one of the indications of how good a pizza place is is how good their margarita is. There's nowhere to hide. So uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good margarita pizza. Therefore, I assume everything else is going to be good. So if you enjoyed this video, looking at the margarita pizza here at Pizza Union in Spitalfields, then don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, then why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and that way you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Okay, I'll go off for a little walk now. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.